that sounds very cartoonish, kind of Tom and Jerry-like chase scene. Left 4 Dead 2 is a game where you shoot zombies and try to survive with your friends. But it also has amazing music and we're gonna check out some more. And don't forget to check out my previous Left 4 Dead videos if you're looking for your favorite song. Let's go! Hello, I'm Lion Might. I'm a composer, music producer, and violinist for over 25 years. And if a professional musician's expertise interests you, you're in the right place. Now on to the music. Skin on our teeth. This one's highly requested. Yes. Da, 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 da. It's that chord progression for the light motif in a twangy, bluegrassy rhythmic vibe. Yeah, that's actually a groovy beat. Kind of can fit a rap or something. Left for Death, but the Left for Dead 2 version. Let's see. Dissonant banjo and fiddling. Wow, what a unique atmosphere this is giving. Our light motif. Wow, there's a certain vibe to this because it's mixed in kind of a dry manner, like not much reverb, just natural room echo. It kind of gives me a more desolate feeling compared to the Left 4 Dead 1 version. Let's compare that. So yeah, the, the Left 4 Dead 1 version is definitely more traditional orchestral cinematic. Compared to the Left 4 Dead 2 version, this, this part right here. Yeah, the feeling is two or three people are trapped in a room trying to survive, trying to avoid the horde. So they're just, to pass the time, they just play their instruments, but they know they're doomed, kind of. So they just accept their fate and play the gloomiest music for whatever reason. And it just feels like a more intimate location, a more intimate auditory space compared to that huge, larger than life cinematic version from Left 4 Dead 1. 
therefore making this version sound even more desolate, more alone, more sad. There's a sound of desperation and possibly giving up. Yeah, brilliant. Gallery. A gallery of what? That sounds very cartoonish, kind of Tom and Jerry-like chase scene, but in the context of Left 4 Dead, because it's got this kind of dissonant, sort of garbled, sort of warp feeling. Scenario in my head is just like a horde of animated cartoon zombies chasing the protagonists in a very funny, highly cartoonish way. Be the first to see my videos at least one hour ahead of everyone by supporting the channel via YouTube memberships or Patreon, and keep the videos coming. Links in the description. Little Lost Witch, Loud Angry Little Witch. It's only eight seconds, but I wonder how much of an impact it will give. Definitely the witch light motif callback from Left 4 Dead 1. I already did a reaction from, check it out. But yes, it's a nice reminder of the terror and the horror that the original piece can give you, especially if you know what's happening in the game. Not a laughing matter. Being chased down by zombies is definitely not a laughing matter. But what story will this next song tell us? 22 seconds long. More of that dissonant carnival music, but this time it's using a more well-known melody. It's been arranged in a very dissonant way to convey this creepiness fact. Pray for death. What? I guess if you're trapped and desperate with a horde of zombies after you, one may just wish for a cinematic death or dramatic, I don't know. Even with just one chord progression in this, most likely an intro, or maybe this is the whole vibe, there's already this feeling of a last struggle, a desperation, a last ditch effort to survive. Yeah, I was right. And it was even staying in a more neutral chord progression, not going to a major chord deliberately to avoid any semblance of hope or positivity.
And the last video for this episode is Gas Can of Victory. Let's see how it sounds. It's got the similar approach with Pray for Death in which it's just like a singular chord progression all throughout. But this time, it's a little bit faster and there's a thicker string section happening with this. It sounds more like a secret weapon, a gas can of victory. Or You know what? While I was listening to the few seconds of this music, the image that is evoked in my head is that scene in The Lord of the Rings... The two towers, the battle for Helm's Deep, when orcs were trying to break the wall of Helm's Deep, and there comes this orc with a torch to light up the dynamite. <laughs> And his fellow orcs were all cheering for him so he can make it to the finish line. While he was carrying that torch, I can imagine this music fits that. A last final attempt and then he succeeds. The dynamite explodes and they infiltrate Helm's Deep. Kind of fitting. A horde of orcs, a horde of zombies trying to break into a defense. Just saying. The songs I feature are based heavily on your collective voices. So use the comments or the suggestion form in the description. Now here's another video for you to enjoy.